Hey, how is everybody? Can y'all hear me? I know, right? A morning stream. That's kind of weird. Well, I've been busy. Um, and But welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the crypt. I am your host, Raven. But today, today since uh, I am going to be watching a trader video, you can also call me by my nickname, Dr. D. <laughs> um, or whatever. It's fine. Or just D. Whatever you want to call it. Just don't call me Dick. <laughs> how how you guys doing? Um, yeah, I've been busy. I got a lot of projects going on, and I'm going to a concert tonight with the family, so that's fun. So, but I wanted to do something because after this, I got to go and do all that, and that's gonna be you know, that's gonna be something because sometimes I just don't like driving. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have noticed. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff's been happening, so I want to check that out. And if anyone's interested, uh, I am uh, starting up a Twitch. I already started it, I, so uh, if anyone would be interested in in watching me, just 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 game, no shanty, no drama, no nothing. It's just it's just gonna be gaming, <laughs> gaming related, but cool games. You know, I like to play cool games, folks. Uh, if that's something that you might be interested in, because, you know, the jokes will still be there, you, you let me know, and then, you know, we'll go from there. I hope everyone's having a good, uh, a good, was it, Friday afternoon? Sorry, I missed the 420. Like I said, uh, stuff's, uh, stuff has, other projects have been going on, but, uh, I'm here for this one, so everyone strap in, let's watch this, let's get started, and that's it, please like. Here we go. Oh, hold on. I guess it starts as soon as the... Man, she must have been heated. Because when Shani's already talking before the video starts, <laughs> that's when you know it's a little extra heat. Okay, and then put on a closed caption because it's hard to understand her sometimes. Speed her up because she's a slow person. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, with the way she talks. No hate. <laughs> no, I don't care. Hey, Cody. Hey, Juracek. I don't care. Um, M M83. Hey, Shamu. What's up? How you doing? Talia, how you doing? Hey, Drader. Where's the freaking DA? You said the DA was going after me. Where is it? Huh? Where's this DA supposedly coming after me? Huh? Huh? After you stalked me, huh? got my home phone number, and called me up? Where's the DA trader? Karma. Or I'll do it like how you did, creepily on the phone. Where's the DA trader? Where's the <laughs> DA? Why isn't the DA coming and arresting me, trader? Man, huh? that must have really gotten, gotten her on um, the crawl. <laughs> inside, little inside joke for the people in the know. But <laughs> that must have really gotten her, her crawl the wrong way. <laughs> Man. I, I guess, you know, and, and this is the problem. Shani's getting criticized, but there's right criticisms, you know, in my opinion, of course, humble opinion, and there's wrong criticisms. I think there is legit things that she's done. But if people are just calling her, hey, you're just a liar, and you don't tell her what she lied about, then she has this narrative of, well, people are just saying that without any proof and receipts. There is tons of proof and receipts for what she's done. Like, for instance, I don't like the uh, child abuse stuff. I don't like that they keep throwing that in your face. And another thing that I don't like is her still using her son's uh, sexuality as another shield, just like she did against her own brother. Don't like it. And now she's all LGBTQ uh, cool now? No. I remember a different Shani. But let's continue. Why? <laughs> why? I know. I know why. Because you made a bullshit story up so you could get clout and money from people. Is that why I'm not arrested? I think so. Yeah. Causing a bunch of people to hate on me over lies and bullshit and clever editing while inserting your little stupid opinions into things. Always, Am Cody. I okay? Absolutely not. I've been yelled at by a maniac. I've been yelled at, treated like shit. Yeah, um, that's kind of like that's been, that's been my deal waiting for karma for the past couple of weeks. Um, I'm getting a different job, 
So, you know, still going to be around, but probably like only like a couple days a week instead of like every other day. Because, you know, the the money that they, they get pay me is more than what I, I can get on YouTube. And that's fine. And that's why, and like I said, I also want to switch things up doing a, a gaming Twitch thing. And it seems like Twitch, you know, a lot of creators don't get uh, viewed and watched as much. And I even noticed that. There's a lot of people I love and I'm still subscribed to that I have to constantly go to their feeds to see if they posted anything because I just don't get a notification. Like, I'm sure a lot of people didn't get a notification now, but, you know, people will watch when they can. Hey, Penelope. And then I get the excuse, I'm sorry, I'm under a lot of mental stress, gee, so... Hey, Yo, Penelope, it's funny. Classic Shanny, but it's new. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. How is anyone supposed to believe that she's turned over any new leaves when this is her? This is the real her. You know, you know there's no leaves that she's turned over. There's no change. There's, do they believe that? Are they getting money out of, you know, are we con, you know, uh, another person out of it? And I think a lot of folks need to understand that, you know, there's a lot of, Shani has ways of getting people to fight. I've seen this two years ago, this happened. A lot of creators just dipped out away because she has a way of doing this. People that have been watching for a while know these tricks that she does to move the focus away from her. She's a very manipulative person. I will give her that. Her manipulation knows no bounds. And she will manipulate anybody, whether they're age, uh, race, sex. It, it does it not matter. If she can get money out of you, she's going to try to manipulate you. But yeah, you're right. Classic. Who am I? Along with freaking physical pain. People seem to hate on you before that, though. No. Yeah, they keep... Oh, I believe it. Fucking... Yeah, and um, probably... Uh, I'm going to get into that on Sunday, June Check. I will get into that 420 stuff. You know me. I have to. <laughs> I have to. You know, for the people. For the people. For the fine folks like you guys. Um, and like yourself. And I hope you're doing... Uh, having a nice day as well. But yes, I will be, probably get into that um, Sunday evening. On my normal time. Moving the goalposts on why they have to hate me, even though it's all based on lies. The, the first lies came from freaking Dragnaut and his bullshit that he started with me. And then he goes around, oh, I'm going to go and talk about misinformation on the internet now, even though he made my whole life into misinformation on the internet. <laughs> Where's the DA? Since you believe him so much, since you trust him so much... This stranger I never even known or met or talked to, other than when he stalked me and called me up on my personal phone. I'd love to see you guys keep sticking up for these people. I love per personal phone. I love that. I love how Shannon likes to dig that in there and make it like more secretive. My personal phone. Yo, it's it's your cell phone. It's your cell phone that I'm sure you've given out to many people or a simple Google search can do. You know, in the age of the internet. Uh, anonymity, anonymity, well, that's a hard one, <laughs> is less and less frequent. You know, forget about the census or if you vote. There's so many things, you know, and it should be like that. We should not be a society worried about people that are trying to uh, find us and get our private information, you know, but I, it probably would be fine, in, you know, besides those uh, couple of weirdos out there. But still, I, I like how she like puts that dig in on oh, my personal information to make it, it extra serious. You know, you got to take this serious folks. I'm she's being messed with and that's why she needs her donations. It'll make her feel a little bit better. Not a lot better. Just a little bit better. She never gets better. Love seeing it. Well, no, I get yelled at today and screamed at and persecuted. by everyone. Like the amount of pain I'm in. I've been saying this for a while. My neck and back have been killing me. Well, try to lose a little weight there. Go on a diet. Now for everybody um, who's been paying attention to, for what I've been saying for the past month, that stuff was about to go down for her, for both of them, especially Shani. Well, here it is. Um, Shani speaks in a way where she doesn't call people out. She's calling out Rev. Okay. 
Rev told her, then again, take it with a grain of salt in Minecraft, blah, 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 allegedly, blah, 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 suck the balls, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Allegedly, Rev told Shani, hey, we need to get out of here because my uncle does not believe you. People are talking to him, you know, reaching out to him and saying that you are a friggin' liar because all those ailments that you have, so many ailments, this ain't just one or two folks. This is so many. Everything she's ever said she's had, there's no proof of it. The only thing the uncle knows is that they got their kids, she's got her kids taken away for the child abuse. And this ain't accusations. These are in a police document file. You know, so I mean, I tend to believe what the police put down on, you know, on their paper. They don't get two craps about uh, YouTube clout. It's 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 in a you know a registered thing in the state of PA and also in the state of uh, Colorado. It's all over. You can find it. Google search her. So with all that being said, Rev is like, hey, ha, oh, we we need to get out of here. You know, uh, you have a you have a plan. Oh, you yeah, me uh, contact your uh, your, your uh, sisters. Oh, you know the ones you talk shit about online. Oh, oh, oh. or your or your or your brother that you keep on talking about. You know how gay he is. Oh, well maybe he can help us out. And she's just like, what? I'm so sick. <laughs> and this is the fallout. So. Now that I've explained to you why this video is happening, now you guys might have a better understanding. It's still funny though. And I don't, I don't take it out <laughs> on anyone. It's just like I'm really hurting. Yeah, she so don't take it, it out on anybody. Anyone. And then I have all this. What about those poor children? Nah, now that not one boy didn't get kicked in the ribs for for no reason, right? Mental messed up this in me, where I have to deal with abandonment issues, abuse issues, a lot of freaking trauma. I'd like to see if anyone could stand in my shoes for 10 minutes and see if they'll actually stand. I bet they wouldn't. No. You know why? Because after 30 seconds, the rash and the itch would be uh, would be insane. I'd be like, yo, I'm itching right now. My, my, my foot's itching right now. I could imagine the scabies and warts and whatever white pustules and 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 just like you know like that white stuff that like you see like when people have severe dandruff probably all in her shoes because you know she ain't wearing no socks come on she don't wear no underwear she pees on that couch you think she wearing socks hell no probably the smell alone so no i i agree shady <laughs> i probably cannot stand in your shoes for more than 10 seconds you know with me being a type 1 diabetic i probably would have to cut my foot off if people experienced what I've experienced and, and, and go through what I go through every day, the amount of pain I'm in physically, emotionally, spiritually. And I try, I try to keep my cool. But other people, they have the goddamn nerve to take their shit out on me. Wow. Spoken like, like a real Christian, folks. And that's my problem. That's my problem. I don't lie. How did I lie? Traitor's lying with the DA and shit. You lie, dumb shit. You lie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, it's like, how old are we? I feel like we're. I'm on the playground right now, and this is like second grade all over again. I didn't steal it. You stole it. I'm not fat. You're fat. That, 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 that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Folks, I mean, come on, you lie. But still, like I said before, all people have to be like is say is yeah, you lie about the child abuse. You act like it didn't happen. You lie about trying to get rid of Rev and have G Man just slip in in more ways ways than one. <laughs> Zinga. Uh, you lied about trying to find another man to take care of you and wipe their butt. You lied about that. You told many people that you wanted Rev out and somebody else in, whether it be G-Man or anyone that's going to uh, take care of you. So you lied about that for sure. You lie. You lied about freaking Von Helton for how long? Got him to lose his kids? Because he kept calling the CPS out on him? You oh. You lie. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down there. <laughs> I hope everyone in the back, this is going to be like a Gallagher show. I hope everyone got their raincoats on. Uh, damn. I mean, all I can say about Vaughn is he, he uh, his his dog died and he, he put it in a garbage can. So really, 
um, I, I don't think he his parenting skills should be put into our, you know, he there is no parenting skills there. Any child, especially little girls, shouldn't have to see a dead dog just in their garbage in the middle of the of the fucking living room. My opinion, of course. Don't come to me and talk crap to me when I know who you are and what you do to people and how you purposely destroyed others' lives. Just hi, right? Oh, who's Von? Oh, another cow. Von Helton. Oh, he's a special cow. I've talked about him a couple of times. He, yeah. I've seen a lot of people actually lose their channels um, because of, you know, reviewing him because of his misinformation. He's talk about a lot of misinformation. And even though the creator is not saying it, the, uh, the cow is, it doesn't matter. YouTube, YouTube hears it. Boom. Cuts you out. So I started to just not really cover him. The only way you can really cover Von Helton safely is to, I guess, pre-watch it and cut out all the really bad parts that can get you uh, demonetized, banned, whatever. You know, YouTube's very, you know, they don't want you to talk about anything. I mean, I know they've leaned up on a lot of that stuff. But yeah, that's who he is. He, uh, he had a YouTube channel. I don't think he's on YouTube anymore. Um, he also lost his kids. Uh, the, 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 his children were going to the bathroom between the slats in their bed. Like they had a mattress. They had a mattress. So they weren't just on the ground like Shani's kids that just had a mattress on the floor. They had a frame, but no uh, bedspread. And they would move the mattress and go to the bathroom between the slits in the bed frame. And it's, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack with him. But that's just safe to say he's just another cow that Shani likes to lean on. When she feels like she's being, you know, attacked. So you can laugh about it on the internet. Hey, Charlie, what's up? Hey, I'm Anna. so sick of people thinking they can interfere in someone's life. And destroy it. I'm so sick of people taking out their frustrations, pains, mental shit out on me. I am not a damn it doll. I am a human being and I have a right not to be treated like shit because another person doesn't feel good. Hey, what's up, Moonbird? Because I don't do that to others. Kathleen Cruz, how you doing? Hope you're having a nice day. I'm angry at that. I'm angry at people. Bond's bad. For hurting others. Really bad. <laughs> really, really, really bad. Purposely hurting others. How do we know that that's really like a... What is it supposed to be? A duck noise? Or if it's just like she's sitting on Rev right now and that's like the last noises he's making. <laughs> you know? Trying to get it uh, off her bulbous ass. I'm sick of it. For the longest time, people have told me, get better, get better, get better. Why don't you guys get better? Stop telling me that I need to change when you guys need to change your behavior, how you treat others. You do need change. You're asking for it, huh? See, like, somebody like Shani, she is, and again, like, I always go back to this. If she was like this or... If the internet and people did this to her, because I believe that does happen. I believe you can get pushed enough to a, you know, everyone has a breaking point, everybody. And I do believe that, like, you know, that can contribute to things. But at the same time, when children and family are involved, that's when it's like, it's, it's time to shut off the camera. You don't need to tell people everything. You don't need to film sending your, bringing your kid to a hospital because he wants to end himself because uh, he was teased about your disgusting OnlyFans. That doesn't need to be filmed. And I remember that that cringy, uncomfortable video where she's going into the hospital, and then Rev you know, brings them up to the hospital. He's like, "Oh, okay, ha, ha. Um, it's time to go." And Shane's like, "You go." She's the mother. He's the boyfriend. You go. And her excuse was, "I don't go into hospitals. Hospitals are dirty." Wow. I don't care if it's the dirtiest hospital in the world. If my child needs me, I'm going to suck it up, man. Like, seriously, I'm going to deal with that. 
because that, I think that's what being a parent is all about. You think that kid wants to be there? You know, again, she's supposed to be the parent. Just saying. Res in the doghouse. Boom. Because he wanted to take shit out on me, too. Can't have an opinion. Can't have an I opinion need with Shani. To learn kindness. That's what I need. <clears throat> and Rev, if you're watching this later, you're like, just understand, man. I I'm not trying to come at you in any type of a mean way. I'm just trying to state, like, I, I have a reason to feel the way I feel. I'm just not watching other people and just making up, uh, um, following their conclusions. I've seen stuff. <laughs> you know that, man. And she's manipulating you again. Whatever, whatever you said to her to, to, to get her this triggered is, is a manipulation. Because instead of her understanding what you're saying, like, hey, we need to get the hell out of here. Our, my uncle is just, he's done with this. He's so far done. He's, he's going to sell the house. We need a place to go. Rev, these are valid points you're making to her. And, you know, maybe it's time that you try to get a little one bedroom for yourself. Keep that in the back burner. Look for it. You know, because it might have to happen. She is not going to go willingly. Just keep that in mind, man. Look what she made you. Uh, look how much you've lost. You really want to keep going? All you could do, you could turn this around and understand, take this as a loss, a learning experience. You know, for a guy that never had a job in his life and no children and no skills of, of watching kids and anything like that, you know, you bit off a lot more than you can chew, literally. <laughs> So, like, just take it as a learning experience, man. Go to some anger management. Learn how to uh, be around children with autism. People to learn kindness. Because apparently, it's not in the curriculum. Apparently, their parents didn't teach them hey, how Brad, to treat others. What's up? Not bad and stuff, yeah. <laughs> Instead, they enabled their bad behavior. Definitely offline. Hey, Debbie, how you I doing? I didn't do that with my son. Whenever I saw my sons talk to themselves bad or <laughs> you said, did he mess up with the script she had him? Um, was she kind of, uh, if you watch the beginning of this video, she kind of alluded to him saying something to her that triggered her anger, you know, very harshly. And I still think it's kind of funny after all this, like, sure. Rev kicked her son. He did that. It's, it's documented, but Years before that, Shani went after Rev and whipped him harshly with a fetish whip to the point where even in the video, you could see it on his arms. She attacked him. So I'm not blaming one or the other. I'm saying they both have been physically violent to each other, you know, and that separates the, oh, you're a this and you're a that too. No, th there's actually things going on in this relationship that makes it toxic. You know, there's people out there that were hit as kids and they could never even think about putting their hand on a child or anybody because they remember that, that trauma. And there's people that I guess didn't have that because they had a silver spoon in their mouth, given everything so they can let their hands go wild. And they're, you know, they're, because there was no trauma because there was never anything to have any trauma about talk to each other bad or talk to someone else bad i was there saying no at a very young age you don't hey, treat Ricky, people you like doing? that but your hey, parents Margie. didn't teach you how to treat others did they honey honey jane with compassion and love and empathy your parents didn't teach you that and now i have to deal with my son dealing with you people's children and how you corrupted <laughs> your children to be filthy fucking animals who gay shame my child Oh, here we Make go. Fun of him when he here, here we go. Here we go. Now, <laughs> did she hurt Rev? <laughs> now, to people that might, you know, that have just started to watch Shani, you know, they might not know what she's talking about. But please uh, check out some of the old videos. You know, my go to, my friend, um, Fat Corny Love. She's awesome. Definitely the OG archiver when it comes to this stuff. I will always say that because she was the first to do it. First that I ever got before everyone else was doing it. She deserves a lot more credit. 
um, because she has a lot of the good videos. And if uh, if you watch a couple of those older videos, you can see that Shani. I mean, to be perfectly honest, it's not that I think that she like doesn't dislikes people that are gay. I just think that she uses that as another shield because she never spoke highly about people that were, you know, that were gay before. In fact, it was quite the opposite. So I think it's kind of funny hearing her now talk about her son. Now he's gay. And, and again, you know, the kids aren't supposed to be there for a reason. Her outing him online to me is not cool. That's the, the, that's her son's decision. Definitely. That's his decision when he wants to speak about it publicly. He's upset. Call him names. The F word used to mean cigarettes. That one. <laughs> Oh. My son should be able to go to school without being harassed for being gay. Oh, and again, how does she know this? She could only speak to him, like, on the computer. Because in, in, in domestic or in abuse cases, you can't be around them without some sort of supervised visits. And he's just like, by the way, I can't go to school because I'm gay. Really? Really? In 2023, still? I mean, I don't know. Most schools that I've seen have taken a very different approach these days to this stuff. That is considered bullying. You can get the kid that, to say something you know, nasty taken out of that school. Times have changed for people that identify like that. So if I just kind of find this hard to believe. But again, if, are, is she talking about Scranton, Pennsylvania? Uh, school system, I I'm not sure, but I wouldn't want to out anybody. But uh, it's just, I don't, I just feel like in 2023, the times have definitely changed. But yeah, she didn't get the donuts. Well, you know, what? a lot of people are mad that that Shani is even monetized now, Debbie. Because remember, she was banned. And you could look that up. Kat Tenberge, a real reporter, got Shani banned twice. She was banned. Shani appealed it. YouTube's uh, uh, algorithm automatically gave it back to her. Kat Temberg said, hey, uh, you just gave it, your robot gave that back to her, and they banned her again. And now look, <clears throat> just like how I feel about everything, you know, I don't particularly like Kat Temberg as a person. I know she's kind of doxed, excuse me, so I kind of doxed people <clears throat> doing her investigative journalism, but she was definitely on the money, on the ball when it came to Shani. So, you know, a broken clock and all, folks. And you little people out there, you little drama whores out there, you're teaching your children how to behave like that and how to hate others and shame people. You're teaching your children that, and they're doing it to my children, and I'm supposed to be cool with it, huh? Ow, what a stretch. So your parents didn't teach you how to behave in society, and you didn't teach your children to behave in society. Congratulations, you messed up society. Because you people have no manners. I was teaching it to no, you. I yeah. thought the younger generation would get over this homophobia stuff. But you didn't. You didn't, mankind. It's the area, honey. It's the area. Yeah, you know, exactly. Oh, here, Rev. It's the area. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, what's up, Julia? Julia says, my child is being bullied. You, you, you be present for them instead of outing their stuff to the world. SDFU and be a parent instead of use it for donations. Yes, exactly. Simple, direct, thank you, thank you. Amazing statement, very intelligent statement. Thank you for saying it. But yeah, exactly. If something is serious where it's gonna cause a child to feel a certain way or feel upset, why would you tell other people? It's not their business, you know? And that's what makes it fake. So yes, thank you. And perfect example of why a lot of people are just not buying into this anymore.
Shani, you know, she, she used to be better at this, but I think life is catching up to her just really, really slowly. Well, fine. I'm mad about it. You should be. You should be. Everybody should be. You shouldn't be that way at all. I'm mad about it. Yeah, there he is, Ladybug. <laughs> you should get me out of here. <laughs> Fuck off. Jesus never said anything about gay people. You know why? Because they were people and he loved them. Amen. The only person you got talking about gays is Paul and he was a damn Pharisee. Who killed Christians. That's the, that's the person for most of our Old New Testament is from a murderer who killed Christians. And again, I just... <laughs> I'm hoping and praying that those kids never have to go back to this. Because if Rev is already telling Shani we need to figure out some alternative ways to make money, alternate ways to live, you know, since they both refuse to work, children should not have to deal with this. They shouldn't have to deal with, or, or, or are they two seconds, you know, before, two seconds away of getting kicked out? You know, that, that's, that's, that's drama and stress that kids should not have to deal with, you know? So I'm glad that they're not there. And... I think if any CPS worker, anyone who's mandated, sees any of these types of videos, they would uh, come up to the same conclusion. Now, I'll listen to the red. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Life As We Wander. I appreciate your membership. Welcome to uh, the club. <laughs> we just have fun here, you know? I make videos a couple times a week and do other things, but uh, I, I, still, um, I still have an audience that loves what I do, and I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate the, uh, the people that love what I do and understands it. I think it's kind of it goes over a lot of people's heads. <laughs> Don't know why. You know, I just really, for the laughs, especially these days, you know, we all need to laugh and just relax. But thank you. I appreciate it. I will, I will try to be as funny as possible. But seriously, though, thank you. That's a pharisaical man. I'm not against the gays. Where did you get that from? I'm literally sticking up for my son. <laughs> the way she says it, the gays. I don't know. Just to me, it's like <laughs> you can tell her real, true motivations. What? No, I'm bisexual. I was going to say, wait a minute. Be pretty stupid if I was anti-gay being bisexual, don't you think? It'd be me hating myself. <laughs> I'm sure you do hate yourself. No. Ever. Since I've known you. Fine. You don't care? Then get off my channel. I don't care about you. How about that? How about that? Since you don't care about gay children being bullied <laughs> in this country, I don't care about you. How about that? Gay children. Get off my channel. It's just frolicking around. How about that? And, and of course, if anyone doesn't know here at Draven Script, I love everyone from every uh, walk of life. I've had people in my family from every walk of life, and so I respect that. But just the way that Shani makes it, I hope everyone just sees that it's just, it's coming off as fake. And it should come off as fake because it is fake. Anything that Shani's into is just a shield from criticism. Please, folks, make no mistake. That's why it sounds so disingenuous. That? You don't care about what I have to say? I don't care about you. Why are you on my channel? Huh? Huh? Yeah. I don't feel that way, Queen. I don't feel that way. But I'm, I'm like totally like tired of people thinking it's okay just because someone's different than them that they have to treat them like total shit. You guys talk about being so, like, I, I mean, there's so many liberals around, and they talk about being so, I, I love everyone, and the same with the Republicans, I love everyone, but yet you exclude so many people. Like, for instance, the Republicans right now over the gun issues oh and the NRA issues, so the children are crying, please take away these AR-15s so we don't get gunned down in school. What? What does the Republicans do? We don't care about the kids. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you for the cash app people. <laughs> I just saw that. Sorry, I, didn't, I just, my phone's like delayed with the uh, notification, but thank you so much. I highly appreciate it. 
And, you know, um, it's a lot easier and a lot quicker than to wait for YouTube. And they give me a lot more than the 30% that YouTube takes. So I appreciate all my cash app people. So thank you. Thank you very much. We need more guns to solve the problem. Please like folks. We need more problems. Well, well, you know what? You just took your younger constituents and you threw them on the bus and you told them not to vote for your ass. Yep. <laughs> That's what you did, Republicans. You told the young people not to vote for you because you are the party of murder, destruction, and warfare. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> and you can't say the Republican Party isn't for warfare. You guys love the guns. You love it so much you're willing to risk your children's lives for them. You, you, you realize who you're sitting next to, right? Or who you're sitting on. <laughs> Rev. And if and if anyone didn't hasn't seen uh, on my channel somewhere, you love it so much. I'm sorry, on my channel somewhere, there's a, a video where Rev is talking to Alex Jones, talking about how the Obama administration, or that uh, he got his weapons taken away, he's not supposed to have any anymore. And even uh, their friend, their old friend, G-Man, said that that he left some guns at his house um, that that he's selling, and he brought it to the police station. Because he didn't know what to do with them. You know, they didn't want the responsibility and all. So I just think it's kind of funny and definitely hypocritical that she has this anti-stance with the guy right next to her that doesn't feel like that at all. And we all know that. Much. And then you got that 86-year-old man shooting that poor little boy in the head. Madness. Because he was black. Knocking on your door, shoots him right through the glass window, and he's trying to claim castle law. There ain't no castle law if you're shooting through the window. Well, that's not castle law. Okay. Ha, huh, ha, huh, you hear that? You hear that? Well, ho, ho, you see? Because Rev can't help himself, folks. Rev will always tell the truth. With his wells and his oars and his ease and his neck thing, it's his way of speaking against her. He knows he can't full out do that because what, come on folks, what will happen? What will happen to Rev? You know, if he speaks against her, you know, and he don't want to deal with that. You know, Shani keeps getting away with attacking people. He can't keep getting away with it. I know. Yeah, I wish that said she can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> that would make it more sense. But still, she shouldn't be able to get away with this. And I think it's just funny that instead of talking about her issues, she dances around to issues that she cannot fix with a guy that has a total opposite stance on the situation. I find that is extremely funny. You should be careful. Okay. It's not. He was not displaying any. I'm going to break in. He literally went up and knocked on the door. Yeah, that's the castle law in Oklahoma. Well, that's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Yeah, exactly, heretic. The military-industrial complex is why they love weapons. Exactly. We spend more money of our budget. 90% of our budget is for killing people. 90% of our budget is for killing people. What if, what if we took that 90% and started taking care of people? How we could change the world? Oh, uh, can't no tell. Um, well, I heard that, um, you know, or Shani said in the beginning of this stream, it's a long stream, uh, do as much as possible. Shani said that it's something about, um, you know, she was, a, he was attacking her. I heard from, you know, from people on the inside that, uh, he's telling her that they, they need to figure this out. They need to figure out something. They can't just be there. The uncle wants to sell the house. He wants them out. He does not believe Shani and all her ailments because she hasn't been to a doctor and there's no proof of anything. And I could understand that she could have stress from children getting taken away. But that was her doing. But even then, I can understand to a point, like it's taken her a little bit, and you know, to get back on her feet. But it's been months. Remember, for anyone who doesn't know, they were living at this uncle's house, and then they had to get out and live forever uh, when the kids were taken away in that crappy motel that that um, closed down because it, you know, there was poison or whatever, or copper pipes were taken out, whatever happened. And then they lost a lot of stuff because they just wouldn't leave there. And then now they're back here. The uncle does not want to deal with them anymore. And I heard Rev wants to try to, you know, with kid gloves, tell her we need to figure out something. But she's not going to figure out something. She, it's going to be hard to get her out of that house. 
it's going to be like a what's eating Gilbert Grape situation. No, 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 no. Let's just shoot a 16-year-old exactly. boy in the head for just being black. That's what you guys do. That's what you Republican gun toters do. And then you stick up for the guy. <laughs> it was released two hours after. I've always had contact with my sons. Stop listening to idiots on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Like I said, I can't say I can I can tell you guys exactly what Shani's talking about when she's not recording her conversations with her sons. But what I can tell you is I know the law. And the law states, especially over there, if kids are taken for child abuse, you have to have supervised visits. I mean, it really depends on their age, but it's normally supervised. And the fact that uh, the last time she, uh, her son talked to her, she made him go uh, make a, you know, say something that she put on her channel about they didn't do anything wrong and everything. That was horrible. You know, and she got really angry after that stream because it got back to her. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you not just want to see them? So, yeah, no. She's, she's lying there. She can't see her kids anytime and just talk to them anytime because they actually have to go to school. Imagine that, <laughs> you know? I mean, she forgets. Like, why would CPS give her kids back if she wasn't even bringing them to school? And their online school was horrendous. You know, they're going to have to repeat some grades. I mean, you know, it's, it is, you know, when you get down to it, I serious and sad issue that you know i'm just trying to make it a little bit lighter for us to digest but it is definitely a sad issue those kids shouldn't have had to have lived like that i understand when COVID was going on we all you know kids had to have you know be homeschooled but you know you could put them back into the system but she didn't want to do that because she didn't want cps to catch up with her until it was too late Military's main purpose is to defend the country from aggressors, not killing off people. Who, who are the aggressors? I see us going to other countries and giving our weapons to other countries and giving our gear to other countries. I don't see them defending us. How are they defending us when we're going hungry? We're, we're losing money left and right. How are they defending us? Maybe the military should start realizing maybe we should actually defend the people and feed them. Nah, the military and, and that excuse as a main purpose is defending this country is an excuse for white rich men to go to other countries and steal their assets, their oil, their water, their gold. Prove me wrong. Especially these modern day wars. Well, that's going to be hard to prove you wrong because you've already been proven right. By his <laughs> Yo, Rev, seriously, man, you better, you better keep quiet. <laughs> You know, she's she's already in a slappy mood. So, yeah. Go away. You're stupid. I didn't lie to anyone. And you're gonna go too, because you're being stupid too. I mean, the, the the most person or the biggest person she lied to was herself. She thinks she could just stay where she is. I mean, you know, when you get down to it, that is really pathetic and sad. Can you imagine not knowing, like, where you're going to be tomorrow in a month, in six months? Not knowing if you're going to be kicked out in some sort of group home, wherever. She's trying to pull this off. Well, she's so sick. She's so sick. She's so sick. There's many videos and pictures of her walking around town, though, and walking around anywhere she wants to. But she's so sick. She's so sick. But... Again, when she was in Colorado, she can go to concerts with Rev, go out partying, drinking all night. But it's only when they lost the money. Now she's so sick. If she was so sick, she would have been so sick this whole time. What oil did the U.S. Army steal? I don't know. There's a thing called Dick Cheney's little company out in Iraq. What is it called? Halliburton? Yeah. Oh, why don't you look up Halliburton, honey? Yeah, they might be too young. Y yeah, you might want to look up Halliburton. That's possible. Look up Halliburton. <laughs> Didn't steal my ass. 
I mean, they literally stole Iraq's oil. Yes. <laughs> literally. Literally. Yes. I mean, you're not wrong at all. An American company going into foreign lands to take their oil. Oh, they didn't steal it at all. Okay. While the U.S. military was defending Halliburton the whole time in Iraq. Give me a fucking break. And conveniently, conveniently, the guy who owned Halliburton, a.k.a. Dick Cheney, was VP at the time. Yeah, there you go. I mean, Woo! Oh, my God. Yeah, there you, you go with what? Totally on that one. <sighs> she does this all the time, guys, where she likes to just... No one's even talking about this. And there you go. There you go what? There, there, okay. No one's denying any of that. <laughs> but she does that. It, it, that's her misdirect. Oh, thank you for continuing. Three months. Thank you. Shame of Christ. But Shani is sick, sick in the head. Yes, thank you. You, you, you know it. <laughs> you know it, Shamu. Thank you for your three months. Isn't that, Nick? They were protecting the poppy fields in Afghanistan and the opioid epidemic started. Yeah, that's why. Go. That's another one. Fast uh -huh. and Furious, baby. Look that up. Fast and Furious. Well, the Fast and Furious the borders. Well, well yeah. But still, bomb. it was about drug trafficking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't think they went, they were like, hey, we can give you a deal, give you some heroin. Yeah. Here from Afghani. You know, that good Afghani. <laughs> Here from Afghani. Ah! <laughs> Afghani. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is this is just history, guys. I mean, you can't argue with oh. what you're saying. How do I feel about Bish? Butch, Bye, Bish, Kathleen. I'll see you board. later. I think it's bullshit. Watch yeah. the replay. Gore should have been the winner. Yeah. Yeah. Not Bush. But see, they needed Bushy to be in so they could start this war. Definitely. Because Gore wouldn't have had it. No. He cares no. about the environment too much. I don't think he would have gone into Iraq. No way. There was no motivation for him to do it. None. Nope. Motivation was Halliburton. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You're correct. A, a billion percent. The conservatives today, though, what they're trying to do, honey, is they're trying to say that Iraq had something to do with 9-11, which is total BS. But they, they're trying to push that so much now. <laughs> Am I feeling better? Absolutely. Hell no. I feel like shit. Hey, Jennifer. Wow, Australia. That is awesome. South Australia. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but what's up? What's up? That is so cool. And that's why, like, sometimes I like to change it up and go live different hours. I know people watch me from all over the world. But that's still a crazy, crazy notion to... Um, to think about but yeah what's up um i wonder if your day is warm today like ours where i am it's like about like 78 80 hopefully it cools down i hate going to hot concerts <laughs> but what's up i'm mad as hell I'm not gonna take it no i'm not i hate this world i hate how lunatic it is because it's so easy to solve all these problems but no one wants to take the steps to solve the problems because they'd rather be evil shitheads. Yeah. A good start is to stop spending all your money on bombs. That's definitely a good start. You know, everyone always has the, you know, the, you know, the, the way to uh, fix everything. It's so easy when you're not in something looking and to look in at it. People could say the same thing about you. First thing you should have done is stop paying, paying money on those dumb cameos. Why did you do that? Why did you pay all these YouTubers uh, 500,000 bucks to go attack? Take the focus off you. I don't know why the thing always does that. Every, I, I'm telling you, Melanin still has got a couple of uh, bugs it's got to fix. What am I mad about? The world. The world. Oh, hey, see through how you doing? The whole social, hey, Barbie. political atmosphere, the whole society thing I'm mad at, the whole destroying the planet thing I'm mad at, the whole letting the AI take hey, over in and, and, and five years we're not even going to be able to live anymore because we're humans and not these entities that are artificial. I'm mad at my husband for being a jerk to me today for no reason when I'm feeling so shitty. I'm mad at the people online for treating me shitty for me just getting good news. What good news? See, see, can't have an opinion. Can't have an opinion around Shane. I don't like that. I don't like living like that where you got to be like walking on eggshells. You know, I'm sure Rev is scared to death to ever speak against her. And that's probably why, you know, and, and people are like, come on, man, just come on. Just you got to just get her out of the house or you get out of the house and see how better your life is. Hey, look, you don't have to worry about someone's going to beat you if you have an opinion. Hey, look, you can go anywhere you want to. You don't have to walk to the gas station to get Delta 8. It's just like how much easier would it have been? And think about how he was before he met her. 
He had a car. He had a house. He had money. He could he could be up all night and drink his whiskey because he is upset because his parents are gone or whatever it was Rev was saying at that time. And all that's gone. And now it's just Shani. And oh my gosh, Shani's gonna die the way my mom did. Uh, coincidentally, coincidentally. I, I guess I should do something about it. No, what you need to do is get out of there because she's manipulating you into thinking that she's going to pass away like your mother did. She's not, man. She's using that. It's messed up manipulation. And it all makes it worse because of my hormones and my period and the pain I've been in for days. Oh, thanks for telling me. I have me. not gone away. So yeah, I'm angry. I feel like the whole world is against me and I'm really sick of holding it up and being nice to people. When all they do is be shitty toward me. Why should I be nice all the time and, and people expect me to be nice all the time when I'm having so much shit thrown at me? That's unfair. Um, well, don't do this. Don't be online. Easiest way. If you don't like it, you can stop and get a real job. You and Rev. You guys could both work. How about that? Even better. There's that home job, so I don't want to hear you can't, you know, walk. There's things, I mean, there, there's jobs out there for all types of people. Hell, there's job fairs. There's ways that you can get help. There's temporary help just to get you started. Just sitting there and just getting money like this, this should be like an on-the-side thing. You shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, Shane, especially because the fact that anybody can flag you down at any moment. I mean, God, why? How, I get living dangerously is fun, but your Russian roulette is very dangerous. You're at a house that they that the uncle doesn't want you to be at, waiting for you guys to get out, probably bothering Rev, Rev Daily about when you're going to leave. You're using, you were using Rumble, but now you're using YouTube you're ban evading and now you did the ultimate sin of monetizing this so now they could pull you at any moment if you stayed demonetized at least youtube keeps people for some reason i still haven't figured that out but you monetized it so you know you, you gotta accept what you want here you want people to give you money besides the money that you get with a little bit of uh, uh monetization so you should accept that and if, and if you are too thin-skinned because of all the things we've seen throughout the years, they just log off. And that's it, it's really simple. That's unfair. Such is life. So I can block people. That's why I do it, to block people like you. I wish I could have Rose Jam per Shampoo Bar and Jason in the Argan Oil. I love how that smells. And it wasn't named after us. It was named before us. <laughs> Don't bullshit me. And I'm surprised Rev Letters spend all that money. Yeah, life is unfair, so why do you make it harder on people? If life is unfair, why do you make it harder on people? Because they don't do the way you, or live the way you think they should live. And who the hell do you think you are telling people who, how they should live? I get in trouble. I got in trouble. Yeah, right? So many. And that's that's the one thing, uh, Shamu, I, I try to always, uh, always say. A lot of people that watch, we all know that life's not fair. Shit. There's my, 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 my buddy Cody. He'll tell you about how life isn't fair. I love the guy. He's a great guy, but he knows uh, all about it. I know about it being in a uh, hospital from 10 years old and telling me, well, you got diabetes now. You got to take this insulin every day. It's not the bad diabetes though. I mean, it's hereditary, but still that could cause you to have mood swings and this and that. And oh, well, thanks. Great. Another thing. My point is we all know that life is hard. 
But Shani wants you to know it's extra hard for her because she's Shani and you should feel bad and give her money. And still, that won't calm, that won't fix the problem. That'll just make her feel, well, thank you, Jesus. And then the next day, back to it. There's never a couple of days of, okay, I'm okay. You know, a grace period. It's every day is a hectic drama. Times for thinking I was doing the right thing. And then I have a bunch of people tearing me apart for doing what I thought was the right thing. I can't win. I can't win. Right? Can't win. And I've been saying that since the beginning, off Dixon. When when she had when they had money, I'm like, well, why don't you take twenty thousand or ten thousand out of that seven hundred thousand and get some good veneers? I mean, there's veneers now that could be a couple hundred bucks. She never she never thought about that. She never wanted to get rid of those whatever warts, moles on her face, dad marks. She never thought about improving the way she looks because hey, she's bougie, she's got money, and we're just peasants that drink water. What do we know about, you know, <laughs> warts that might be, uh, you know, not so uh, benign. But really, I mean, enough money to, to fix all that. It, it drives me insane. I always try to do the right thing. Yeah, it's true, Pink Barry. I have more money than some people will ever in their lifetime. And that's true. That's why it's like, I don't want to hear her plights. You know, there's women out there, great people that can't have children for whatever reason. You know, it's just their body. It won't happen. You know, or they have to go have a C-section or something. Things are, you know, the way things are, it's like we don't make the decisions. And Shani has been able to have children, been able to have all this money, and just pissed it away during like the worst time ever to do it, too. She could have lived very, you know, oh, let's not spend this money. Let's put this money in some sort of a savings. Let's think for the future. And even better, let's just try to show our kids how to think for the future because one day we're not going to be around and hopefully they can, you know, learn how to do this. off Gary Ridgeway. Who the hell do you think you are coming here with the name of a serial killer and telling me about morals? She knows all the serial killers. Your name is literally a serial killer. You're posing as a serial killer and you're trying to talk to me about morals? Yeah, Shane, they, they both love serial killers. Just Get FYI. Get out of here! Get out of here! Someone who murdered young women and then continued to rape them while they were dead. That's who you're posing as. <laughs> and coming fuck? to my channel and then speaking about morals? That's a huge bitch. <laughs> oh, you're full of shit. There's no active investigation over shit. Yeah, I didn't need to be pissed, did I? Did I, Jason? I could have had a good day. But no, everyone wanted to take all their shit out on me. Like always. Let's use Shannon as a punching bag. Let's use <laughs> Shannon as a punching bag. Because you ask for it. And that's one thing I could say about Shane. She never relents. She never lets up. She never, all right, I give. You know? If somebody was talking about her and then they stop talking about her, she'll start talking about them again. Just to bring them back into the, the circus show. You know what I mean? Chris Carter, uh, they ruled his, or, or I mean Aaron Carter, they ruled his death as an accident. He drowned in a bathtub after huffing some crap. 
he fell asleep in the bathtub and drowned after huff and grab. That's sad. It is. That's sad. But see, the same type of people that harassed me harassed him and caused him to go through all these problems while he was dealing with his own personal problems. Oh, hey, Scott, what's up? No, I can't have any joy in my life. It's one thing I talk to my parents about. I can't be happy. She can't be happy. She's all alone. Rev is right there. I mean, seriously. She should consider herself lucky to find somebody so willing to just let it all burn. You know, not everyone gets that type of uh, crazy loyalty. I mean, there's loyalty, and then there's like, dude, like seriously, you really should try to find somebody else. I mean, you've been with one person, one person, and a and a, and a sex doll torso. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I bet you're really missing that sex doll torso right now, Rev. But like, seriously, not all women are like this, man. You really need to think about that. You know, I, can you imagine Rev like finds another girlfriend and go, oh my God, what was I doing? Because right now I think he's just stuck. You know what I mean? How we all get kind of stuck sometimes and he has to like unstick himself. But I think he's so just Stockholm being with her. He can't get out of this situation. And I want to be happy. <laughs> he was harassed. What are you talking about? He wasn't harassed. I guess you didn't see what I saw. Definitely hated on. Yeah. He was so harassed. He had lovers. Too. Don't lie. But yeah, he was definitely, without a doubt, harassed. Fuck off. I can be online if I want to. Why don't you go mind your own business and go to some other channel so you can talk crap about me? How about you go do that? How about you go what you're meant to do? Talk crap about me for the rest of your life. Oh, whoa, whoa, shots were fired, shots were fired, oh, watch out, here it comes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know, I wouldn't be so, you know, brazen the way Shani is, because people are, right, it's, this channel is going to be gone, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be gone, this was one of her older channels that she renamed, I think this was the, the Stoner Shani channel. She's had like about three channels that she's always changed the name of. People always find her. So for her to like, you know, YouTube's going to figure it out. And it only takes one person, you know, to do it. And if she just does anything, and like I said in the beginning, people get, have their limits, they get pushed. If she gets pushed, Shani will do something drastic like she's always done. Whether that's getting nude, saying some terrible things. You know, it's only a matter of time. So if this is our only means of money, I would treat this like gold is what I'm trying to say. No, I thank you all for being here. He Please like. constantly on Instagram. I've seen it for myself and it was just, it, it hurt me a lot. And then I, I, I talked to him for a couple of minutes, trying to calm him down. Yeah, that's right. He had, okay. he had you on a call with him, didn't he? No, that was, that was, that was Kara Cunningham. That was, that was Kara Cunningham, yeah. Oh. Yeah. But it's just like, ah, uh, you know what? That's a good question, Wizard. Um, I would think if anybody's keeping a hold of anything like that, that that it, it would have be Rev. Rev does the bulk of the work around there and the housework and, and wiping her butt and everything. That's why everything's just, you know, always looks the worst of shape because he doesn't take care of himself. So, yeah, I could definitely see her forgetting to take medication. Sure. Uh, Pearl Moon said, did she kick off at Matt C? Or did, um, I, I don't know. I don't know about that, Pearl Moon. Uh, I haven't heard anything. Zoloft, definitely. <laughs> and lots of it. Like, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Because these people that put people in these, these head, head places where they feel...
completely worthless. They don't get held accountable. They get to go off and do it to another person. While the person who was bullied is dead now. Oh, I don't think that. I think everybody has to get held accountable. You know, you don't know everyone's private life, and you don't know what's going on in their mind, and you don't know what they have to deal with. So I would say negative, because we don't know what happens when camera, you know, when the videos are not going, you know what I'm saying? When the stream's not happening. I think everybody has a little bit of accountability to something, even to, their, to themselves. Because they didn't feel like they were good enough. And I'm sick of seeing this with people, where they're just bullied relentlessly by these assholes. And now it's going into my son's culture and his age, and they're doing it to him. Yeah, that really surprised me when he told me that that was an issue, you know? It surprised me, because I thought this generation, you know, yeah. was past that stuff. No. Not everywhere. Definitely. It sounds worse than when we were kids, dude. I, I mean, I was going to say that to him. Like, I... Why, why would he say this to them? You know, uh, Shani's kids know what Shani does. Knows that she can't keep nothing to herself. It, it, maybe he says that, to, you know, to give them something to talk about, to shield her. Maybe they know. Like, all right, I got to give my mom something because she needs something because too many people are attacking her. I mean, they're... I don't know. I just feel bad that he has to be outed like this. And I hope he's definitely okay with it. Because, again, it's his story to tell. If he wants to, even. There was a gay kid in my class, and he was not bullied on that. There was level. plenty of gay people in my school. We didn't mess with them at all. We just hung out. Hung out. Yeah, I, I knew a gay person once. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> the way they talk. <laughs> and, you know, you could tell when somebody had a sheltered lifestyle by the way they talk. They never went to a party. They never went out in the city to hang out with all different cultures and different walks of life and just see, you know, wow, people uh, smoke cigarettes in, in this family. People don't smoke cigarettes in this family. People are okay with this in this family. People are a little, uh, this is their religion, you know? I dug that back in the day. I like seeing that, you know, everything was not how it is in my house, you know, for instance with them and treated them like everyone else that's really awesome that's awesome but like now they want me to admit i have cancer <laughs> you see what i mean that's psychological abuse honey just straight up you see what I mean? That's mental abuse. It, it well, I mean, Shane, nothing for nothing, but you, you said it many times. And it, maybe you didn't have a, a GoFundMe because, for your cancer, which I don't even understand why you would need something like that. But you definitely alluded to it, I would say. There was definitely, you know, you were pushing. Like, oh, well, I need this because uh, I don't know. They took, they took a thing and I don't know. It, it, I don't know. I, she never knows. Could be. It could be just be like a uh, yeast infection <laughs> because you don't wear uh, underwear. It could be because you don't wash ever. You don't shower. So you don't wash your clothes. You don't wash your ass. <laughs> you don't think that that's not going to catch up with you. And then you're laying on a pea stained mattress all day. I'm sure anybody would contract something that could look bad. Is. Take your $50 and shove it up your ass. Yeah. Many times. She's been saying it since 2019. It is so mentally abusive. Very. Now they're going to go and say, oh, she actually does have it. See, she's lying about that now. Oh, my God. Like... What do I do to celebrate of it? I don't. Oh, Jennifer, I did see, I didn't see that one, 
I saw an older one that he did, and uh, yeah, and she's been she's been claiming it for a long, long time. NMS. It, it, basically, if she meets somebody and they have some sort of an ailment, now she has it. You know, it's it's like this type of Munchausen's, but then she asks for donations because of it. I move on with my life. I don't celebrate when I get new good news because I know bad news is right around the freaking corner. It always is. Whenever you're feeling good, there's always something or someone to just yeah. Yeah. Wash all that hope and love and joy out of you. No, because Shannon has to think about other people before herself always. You have to, you don't care about how I am. Yeah, why? Why should anybody? Honey, I'm not feeling good. I, I'm really hurting today. You don't care how I feel. <laughs> what? Why should anyone have to? More than anybody else, you know, that Go needs it. away. <laughs> I want nothing to do with you people who engage with Carrie, G-Man, Drader, or Draven. Oh, I wow. I'm actually included in something. <laughs> Yo, Shay, calm down. I haven't talked about you in, 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 in days. Just chill out. Chill out. And I'm trying to come at you in a neutral way that's not really, you know... Man, it might be a little bit funny here and there, but I'm trying to be as serious as possible. You know, you want to know why all this hate's coming. And I'm telling you, it's because you're putting yourself out there. If you don't want it, get a regular job. You know, it's, 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 that, it's that simple. It's really that simple. Stop talking about ailments that you clearly don't have because you always have something else. But it's always you Googling yourself into what you have, Google doctor, instead of you actually going to a doctor and figuring out that, oh, it's just because I'm, you know, these are just bed sores and just laying around and not doing anything. You, you know that that makes you hurt too, right, Shannon? You know that just laying around being lazy is going to give you sores and make you in pain. Like, it's just, it happens to everybody. That's good. That, you know, it's not just you. Shit. Please like, folks. She makes me nuts. To do with you kind. With so you stay kind. Away from me. Period. Stay away unless you, unless you donate to her. Go away. Go away. Go away. There. You see how that works? <laughs> I saw you write that. <laughs> I can buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand, talk to myself yeah. flowers. That's, that's, yeah, that's me. Oh, I've been for three years. <laughs> What's up? I'm done. Yeah, she always wants that thirty bucks. I'm done with everyone's attitude. You don't want you don't want an attitude from me. Well, then don't don't, you, don't give me attitude. Simple as that. Wow, really, Pink Barry? That's awful. That is really messed up on so many you levels. Take out three, then another four pop up. I know they're crazy, aren't they? They're nuts. They have to say some mean thing impulsively. And, and again, again, I always, if when I see someone getting attacked relentlessly, I always think, hey, maybe they, you know, people like it is some sort of a can't, not campaign, but something. But this woman has done so many bad things for so many years. And there's so many videos of her doing these bad things and saying racial slurs, beating up people, her own children. And then she gets banned. And now she's on the, YouTube where she's banned asking for money. So all these people that are coming at her in a troll way, I understand. 
because she's really not supposed to be here. Shani is the Dante of YouTube. I need to rest. How can I rest when everyone is treating me like shit? When I've tried to rest several times today, but it's not. Let's go take. Let's go treat Shannon like shit today. <laughs> I just troll to make people mad. I don't do that. They are psychos. Something wrong with your brain. I'm sick of people. I wish I could live in a world where there's just nothing but little kitties and puppies and animals and no people. The only one predator handy J is you going after people and stalking people onto my channel so you can harass them. And to think that I would allow you to harass my people. What people is that? I'm with you there. Animals are way cooler than people. They are. I mean, if I was her, I would think at this moment, anybody that she would consider her people are people that are just going to dick her over later. Because that's just the cool thing to do now. Like your friend, her, and you know, take her over. When people did it years ago, it was, it was a little bit different because she didn't realize like that that was going to happen. Now it's kind of like I would say most of the people that are in there probably don't care that much for her. Not as much as she thinks, anyway. I don't think you're a predator queen. It's really gross. It's really gross. All people want to do is just hurt people, man. And so is imitating a police officer. It's highly illegal, stupid. You're going to come on my channel pretending to be a police officer and talk about legality. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's illegal. So just so you're so they're calling you a predator now because you won't stream that nerd real stream news. I wouldn't date him either. He looks like he's gross. His whole personality is gross. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, oh, are gross. <laughs> they annoy me. sing some corn i don't want to sing corn i don't have can you can you guys imagine you're so broke you're so <laughs> you have so nothing that you and you're so big and bulbousy and sweaty because you don't wash that you have to rely on a laptop novelty fan that you plug into the usb port that goes meh, meh, aflac. <laughs> that's where she is so yes how the mighty have friggin' fallen where she doesn't even have a fan not even a ceiling fan <laughs> she's got a little laptop novelty fan that you're not even supposed to use you're just supposed to like turn on laugh at get it annoys you then um you you, you know you, you throw it away in a drawer somewhere but with shanny that's the only fan she got so yeah i think that's funny the energy it please like folks years. that's awful Don't you come in my chat to harass one of my people who watch me. I will not allow it. You know, I w all I ever want to hear from Shay, all I would ever want to hear is, you know, I made some mistakes and I don't know how long we're going to be at this place where i'm at now 
and I'm going to try to work on myself for re for real. I understand. I've said a lot of stuff without realizing it. Maybe with the move around and the and the pandemic, she got overwhelmed and she started to get bed sores and warts and stuff. And she thought this could be cancerous. I mean, anything is better than just oh my god, don't watch me. You know what I mean? Like just just give me an explanation. More like Shanny run Shanny. Run and hide and be a freaking cave dweller for the rest of my life. <laughs> you look like one. Oh, wait, hold on. You know, I hear some sort of water going on in the background. That's not me, folks. You hear that? Uh, I may, may, or maybe uh, Rev's going to the bathroom. I don't know. I, I hear water going. Oh, my God. I Guys. Guys. To my vegetarians and vegans out there, I have something to tell you. And you're not going to be happy over this. Yeah, right, exactly. Apparently. No, I don't have manners to people who have no manners. No, I don't. I'm sick of playing nice to people who are awful people. So, no. But McDonald's fries, the secret ingredient in McDonald's fries is beef. It's people. Beef flavoring. So McDonald's fries are not vegetarian. <laughs> Some people just don't know how to troll properly and gotta get big mad. What's that about, morons? My daughter is a vegetarian. You should tell her and warn her about that. Oh, they're definitely gonna be contacting the kids. They have to go mm. after the kids. They can't help but to go after other people's kids and, and, and parents. Like I said, it's compulsive. <laughs> and that would be funny. <laughs> to them. Oh, no one's going after way. your so kids. So why? But, there's a, but I remember when I was, you know, vegetarian, as a teenager, I'd eat McDonald's fries because it was the only thing I thought I could eat. Now, the whole time, I wasn't actually a vegetarian knowing that. Oh, my God. What? 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 <laughs> she thought she was a vegetarian because she ate nothing but McDonald's fries. <laughs> oh, that's but I've good. I've always hated McDonald's. Their food sucks. Then why'd you eat it? You make it no sense. Could have just ate vegetables and been a vegetarian. Yeah, let me move her up a little bit, folks. Maybe that. We want you happy? I want to be happy. And I don't like your name. Because obviously you're making fun of someone for having a drug problem. Freaking gross. That was you, Queen of Karma. I'm sorry they're doing that to you. You don't deserve that. Right. You don't deserve that. Oh, Shannon, you don't care. You don't care unless people donate to you. You pretend to, you know, be like that. And then later on, you go around and talk crap about it, about anybody, you know, in, in little private areas and discords and stuff like that, don't you? I mean, you used to, and then, you know, and you sound exactly like you did in 2019. So I'll, um, I'm imagining you still do that. 
I'm very protective of people when I see them being treated wrong. I don't care. And, and, and you could go, well, they did this and this and this. I don't care what they've done in the past because people can change and do better in their life. Fuck off, Gigi. And that's, and that's why she says that. It has nothing to do with the person or any person or somebody's issues or past issues. It has to do with using that person as, you know, of what she's going through and saying, well, they could change. It doesn't matter what they've done. But Shannon, you've done it over and over and over again. And now you're on a platform that you were banned from more than once. And not only that, but you're monetized. It's going to bother people. So I don't know how long, you know. And like I said, I'm not telling no one to report or anything, you know. I'm, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Definitely against the TOS, you know. But I'm just saying I, I don't foresee this being around forever. And folks, what do you think is going to happen if all of a sudden Shani's big way of getting money goes away? The uncle ain't going to deal with this anymore. So, you know what? I think the uncle sees the writing on the wall and maybe even Rev sees the writing on the wall a little bit. Trying to explain to Shani, we need to find an, an alternative way to make money and maybe a different place to live. And she don't like that. All she wants to do is talk about her son being bullied at school for being gay and how dare everybody and give her money and feel bad for her. Definitely feel bad. Make another sock a cow. You probably will. No. Hi, Iconic. They are horrible with people who have mental health problems horrible and i i just hey reasons what's up just hanging it's not in my nature uh, i'm gonna be not around tonight so uh i wanted to throw something out this way to be on the channel and i'm glad you guys got to, to see it but what's up please like and that's it have a good time like whenever i've seen you know Someone who has an obvious problem. I'm, I'm, I was the type of person who would be their friend and be there for them. And knock off the haters on them. Because I hated that. Jason set a clear boundary. No dancing. He did. I just, I mean, go to the live stream yesterday. I said, I'm not a dancer. Why would I dance? Because I'm just, you just want to make a fool out of me more. Yeah, that's all. You which need. is why you brought up Cyrex because you did the same thing as Cyrex and didn't even pay him. There you go. Oh my God, there you go. They did it to him and they didn't even pay him. There you go. Go away. <laughs> I didn't know that. Like how Real Stream News owes me a bunch of freaking money. Super chats. Yeah, he owes me a bunch of money. I don't know how much he made, but he owes you something. Uh -huh. That's for sure. He does. He does. He owes me money. Yep. And that's the biggest reason why I ain't going on anyone's channel. Mm -hmm. is because that experience with Real Stream News and him saying he was going to give me money yep. when I really needed it and he gave me shit, nothing. Now you're understanding why I won't dance. Okay? If I do a dancing video, it'll be with you on TikTok or something. That's, mm -hmm. that's it. Just bumping and grinding on TikTok. Okay? Yeah. Yep, that would be fun and cool. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fun. I don't want to see Rev bumping and grinding on TikTok. <laughs> Yeah, please, Rev. Never say that again. Yeah. But I don't want to go on that Chinese spy machine. Exactly. They, and I, I'm <laughs> so smart about that. I know. It's awesome. My son was like, Mom, get that off your phone. Erase <laughs> your TikTok now. Yeah. Huh. He's awesome. He knows his stuff. He is a, he is a bad person. He lied. Yo, know, I swear, she should have never have been Shani for Christ. I would have called her queen of conspiracy or something. Or like conspiracy queen or... Shame for conspiracies because she just she believes anything you tell her. Just full transparency. Eyes. <laughs> he owes you cash too. Wow. Is that the way he does? He like said he begs people to go on his channel and says I'll give you money and then when you finally do he rips you off. Wow, that's good business practice, isn't it? You should be off the platform for that. That ain't right. Oh, hey, cats, how you doing? Mm -hmm. That ain't right. That's what you're looking at to me and Queen of Karma <laughs> is you ripped us off. Another person, freaking, freaking, truthfully, Trisha, she ripped me off. Yeah. She, she owes me $20. Right. What? Really? Maybe. She refunded everybody. Like, I'm still waiting for my 20 from truthfully, Trisha. I know. 
That's actual scamming. Oh, yeah, she did. She scammed a bunch of people. I think she's trying to say that she had a bunch of stuff happen in her life, you know? RSN was so cruel to me, Shani. He owes me cash. He wanted to date me and then kicked me from members and never refunded me. Jesus. Wow. What a great guy. He's a stand-up member of YouTube, isn't he? He really is. And he gets all these views. Does he? Yeah. Wow. I didn't realize that. I thought you just had a small channel. Shani, I'm sure he would say he gave you guys money. He didn't, though. RSN had to follow it out with MFW, Miss Fucking Wonderful, because he never wanted to pay her. There you go. There you go. He's got a pattern, then. Yeah, he's got a pattern on using women for their story and never paying them. Wow. Yes. Wow. No, baby girl. I did not get money for my medicine. So, oh, she didn't get money for her medicine. But you see how Shani likes to put all that together in a nice little bow for everybody? You know, like uh, all that stuff. So she uses people and doesn't pay them. And then, oh, well, let me just throw in their women because the last two people that they were talking about is women. And like I said, I ain't, I ain't simp for RSN. No, hell no. Uh, yeah. But, you know, it doesn't matter that, that it's him. You know, forget all the stuff, you know, for, forget all that. She just does that anyway. It doesn't matter who she's talking to or talking about. Why did you give me the band hammer? I don't know, but I'm going to give it to you again because it was probably for a good reason. Most likely. RSN then harassed my husband for three years and just emailed me again. Want the... What? Because you wouldn't go out with him? God, that's... Wow. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to move that up a little bit because... That's just, I, 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 didn't, I don't know. I'm just moving up. I'm done with these little children games. I have not seen the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I don't know anything about it. I, I've heard about it a couple times, but, you know, I've never played the game, never really was into it, so. So a bunch of these people tried to break you and your husband up. That's how Carrie started. Because me and Jason, we were about to break up because of what happened with Zachary. You should have. You should have. You should have. And, you know, it shouldn't take somebody to tell you that, Shani. You know, somebody hits your kid, and no matter what you did to him, and again, there's so many conflicting stories. There's, were you trying to make Rev like a bigger, like, more intimidating parental figure like here you need to do this and that why'd you throw those bag of tostitos chips at his head before he attacked your son there's so many questions i have you know it's not just oh he hit your son cut and dry no it's shanny was mad about watching devil's advocate throws a bag of chips at jason's head causes jason to go in into the boys room and says get off the internet and and then that happens so I have questions of why that happened and why it took many days afterwards to uh, report that. All right, move that ahead because I just don't want to hear that 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 ridiculousness. Um, but I, you know, I have more on my channel about that day that that happened and the day after and all so on and so forth. Before we left, we should have got the paper. We, uh, we, we could have done it. We Whatever. It oh, what it oh, let me bring that back a little bit. <laughs> I'm ordained to do marriage. Honest. <laughs> CVS considers us married. They call CVS. Us a lot of the times with each other, your husband, when they talk to us personally. Oh, when we well, yeah, well, they're calling you up trying to get your uh, medications. <laughs> I know it's CVS. <laughs> I'm just making that joke. But no, they don't. They consider you. God, stop it. You're, you're Shani with another guy's last name still. Does, does Rev have your ex's last name too? And you ain't married. We talked personally, yeah. yes. In paperwork, nope. Not in paperwork. Uh, Not in paper. Uh, the uh -huh. place we get our food stamps from, they, they consider us together and married. Yeah. The state of Colorado yeah. is considered. Oh my God, you don't need, you don't need, it doesn't matter. You can have somebody on your food stamp uh, thing, account, allotment that's not married to you. Stop it. Stop it. They don't consider you married. They consider you that you're both on there. He doesn't say, oh, this is, a, this is Shani's husband, because we consider it. Get the fuck out of here. So stupid, folks. Considered us married? Yes, they did. Yes. That's right. It's written in your Bible that we're married? Yes, and I'm a reverend, so I, I'm ordained to do marriages. So then so do your own. you understand common law marriage, that's their problem. Yeah. 
There is no common law in PA. Okay. <laughs> Some people just don't want, like, I don't know. It was our decision how we did it. How you did what? Date? I mean, before we left, we should have got the paper. Yes, before you left, you, yes. Again, yeah, exactly. See, Rev is speaking some honesty. Twenty-five dollars, seven hundred thousand dollars. They had, but they couldn't, you know, and they couldn't spend twenty-five bucks. Why? Because Shady can't get married in a in a church because she already was married previously to two other guys. It's kind of weird. All they had to do was go to a church, or not go to a church, go to a to the town hall, pay twenty-five bucks, get and have a witness. Whatever. It is what it is. We got depressed. Well, I mean, both of us were already there. Yeah, we got depressed. You know? We were depressed when we got together. Yeah, that you're not married. That's the truth. We were, we're still depressed. Yeah, perpetually. Pretty and much. you're still not married. It's just, <laughs> just one freaking crap over another. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You can try and put on a good face and not be depressed, but you are. Excuse me, are you really going to come to me, John, and say, why are you on Team Libtard? To the people who know me, what do I say I am? You're an independent. It's called being an independent. I'm on team, no team. Yeah, team, no team. I'm on team, my team. I get to decide and not have stupid people decide for me who I vote for. No, you're on team whatever is popular right now. I'm on team both political parties, both the liberals, even though the Democrats are a lot better than the Republicans. Okay. You got the liberals and you're, you get all confused over social issues because of them. And then you got the other side of the Republicans and all they want to do is push guns, God, and, and violence in your face. And, you know, it's funny that she's like, guns, God, oh, wait a minute. Wasn't I doing that? <laughs> like her brain's like, wait a minute. I think I was doing that. My God, God you should have seen her in 2019. Her and Rev. Her and Rev pushing um, that party. You know, they just the way, ever the way the wind blows is that they're into it. And they were all about guns. And they were all about God. And they were all about that political party. Just saying, I try not to get political because it's just, no thank you. It's another can of worms I don't want to open. But still, they were totally uh, into that until they weren't. Face. The name calling, like children. And then you got the liberal side where they're just crying about everything. That bothers them, and it's like cheese. Like what you're doing right now, and it's yeah. like cheese. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> but I'm definitely a little bit more leaning toward the Democrats than the Republicans, because the Republicans are warmongers. Yes, politics shouldn't be one-sided. It should be mixed of all good ideas. I agree. That was a purpose of the two-party system. But instead, these moron politicians decided, let's just take this idea and run with it and just put people apart with it and divide people over these stupid issues that really don't matter. Would Jesus want guns? Probably not. Would Jesus not. want guns? Narc rage, really? That's why I'm talking nonviolence, because I'm a narc rage. Dumb shit. Jesus. That's how I feel. Make love, not war. I don't think... I don't. I honestly don't think Jesus would look at a gun and be like, "Yeah, that's a good thing." I can't see him say that. He was completely nonviolent. I know. And tossing tables. Tossing tables. Shooting someone with a gun, man. Because um, he was completely nonviolent. Ha <laughs> ha. And t tossing tables. <laughs> well, all right. Well, if he's tossing tables, then he's kind of uh, they, that, that, that's pretty violent. Oh yeah, the people that defend the Second Amendment will always bring up the when he got pissed in the temple. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't shoot up the temple. Okay. <laughs> No, that did not happen. What is your problem with defending yourself? It's a God-given right. There's nothing wrong with defending yourself. There's something wrong with using a weapon to defend yourself. And folks, this is where I'll get the one PSA. Please do stay away from that gas station crap that they're trying to sell as marijuana or synthetic marijuana or Delta 8 or whatever it is in some of these nasty gas stations. They call it a gas station crank. <laughs> Please stay away from it because you 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 see um you see uh the uh the uh what can happen you know the side effects of taking stuff like that that aren't FDA approved. You can't use fisticuffs. 
Like back in the day, people used fisticuffs with each other instead of killing each other. Go away. Jesus wouldn't take people's rights away. He told disciples to buy a sword. A sword, not a gun. A sword is not a gun. No. So you might want to rethink that a little bit. Well, Jesus was smart. He knew if somebody was was hilted with, with a sword, people wouldn't attack him in the first place. Rev, are you a liberal now? I feel like you don't challenge some of Shani's more leftward ideas like you used to. Welcome to the left, my guy. He was in the left right. before he became a Republican. Was he? That's the truth. I blame Alex Jones. <laughs> oh. And the only reason why he went on to Alex Jones, folks, is because he was talking about how um, that the Democratic Party, he was mad, and he said he was going to get weapons, and they went into their... Into, uh, they went to uh, Jason's house because his friend called the uh, cops on him, and they took his weapons away, and said you can't have them because you're you're uh, there's you know there's something wrong with you. You might do something in the future, <laughs> and you know you sh you shouldn't be around weapons. So I don't blame that on Alex Jones. Red was like that before Alex Jones. He just went on Alex Jones, maybe thinking that that could help him get some clout to get his guns back. That's living in Candyland? Well, okay. It, it's living in Candyland to know the difference between a sword and a gun? Really? Okay. I'm not debating you guys on guns. You guys are psychos. Well, I can yeah. say that my position on gun control has always been that I would not not before uh, common sense laws to be put in place to restrict them, guns from people that shouldn't have them. I've always believed that. Um, that's what? not a very conservative position on that. Yeah, it's a lot of most positions. I'm not hardline conservative. I consider myself a conservative, but um, I. You see, all right, listen to Rev to try to dial it back. Rev, you went, you went on Alex Jones's, you know, Infowars after you bought his Rebel Rouser and. All the other stuff that I guess he doesn't take because obviously, um, all the stuff to for weight loss. <laughs> Buy my products that I don't take. But anyway, you went on there to try to get your guns back, and now you're acting like, oh, but I was a Democrat or independent before. You didn't sound like one, bro. Probably need to change that label, maybe, because maybe I never was one of them. I don't know. Thank you, Nick. It's pretty dumb to think Jesus would be down with guns, and I own guns. There you go. Yeah. The dude that says turn the other cheek. Yeah, he told Peter put it down. It's not how we're doing this thing. Jesus was definitely for self-defense, but he was nonviolent at his core. To his core, he was nonviolent. So to say that he would be very pro Second Amendment today is very ignorant statement, in my opinion. In Canada, we can't have guns, or else my mod would have never betrayed me. Hmm. I didn't convert him at all. That wasn't me. That was him finding out about Donald Trump and Alex Jones being complete and utter frauds. Yeah, and it's in the news. It had nothing to do with me. No. And no, it's in the news. the news. And I'm going, wow, this stuff happened with him. He lied horribly a lot to the people, man. They had no evidence of election fraud, none. Zero. And they were pimping this stuff. How can I support a guy that literally put out lies to create more chaos in the country? How can you support a woman that allowed you to put her your hands on her kids how can you support a woman that you know has done messed up stuff rev you know it she was trying to find your replacement back in when what was when was that june last june i mean it wasn't that long ago that she was like i'm on the hunt and then she accused rev of of getting hookers at the park <laughs> You know, like it just goes on and on and on. And you would think, okay, like obviously there's something wrong with this man. Like, you know, he's he's afraid to be himself. He's afraid to talk. And I get it. Shady's big. Especially if you look, at, you know, compare them two side by side. Rev is like a little gangly little man. And Shady's like a linebacker. She could hurt him badly. And I'm sure he's always got to be on his P's and Q's on what he says and not says. Then there already was. How could you how could you support that? 
There's absolutely zero evidence of election fraud. Zero. Mm -hmm. All the things that Giuliani and Trump and uh, Roger Stone and all of these guys that were, were on the right were saying about the election were not accurate. And I hear that in the news and I got proof in the news. How could I stay on that team? They're lying. They're openly lying to the American people to, to, to hopefully get back power for themselves. Now, I am sitting here currently as a registered Republican. Yes. But my ha, team still has, is. has fucked up badly. It, it, Rev, you, you still have your Trump card, like a literal card, a Trump card. And someone just said, like, the Bible's full of violence. Remember about stoning your firstborn? And we all mean ha-ha, getting high. We mean throwing literal fucking stones at your firstborn. And I'm telling you, that's the case. If you're a Republican and you can't come to understand that, then you're just, you're not thinking. They messed up really bad. And that's all there is to it. I mean, if you can't see that, I, I feel bad for you. Because it's, it's the case. The Democrats look very good today. Yeah, they do. They look really good. Joe Biden looks good as a president. Because he doesn't engage in this idiocy that Trump does. Trump, the Trump looks yeah, like a he's sleeping. child that just <laughs> this was the one thing he couldn't let go, and I'm sure there's other things he can't let go. The only good thing Donald is good at is burning people, oh. like putting fingers san Sanctus. Yeah, that was a good. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna call him putting fingers for the rest of my life because of putting putting fingers. What, what, I don't even know what that means. Like, that's how much I'm even looking at what's happening. Don. <laughs> I can't. I see Ron DeSantis, and all I think is putting fingers now. I know. <laughs> Ron DeSantis. <laughs> the Trump ad worked. Definitely. Yeah, I love reading. I love reading the closed caption. That poor closed caption. It's like, what do you want from me? I'm just a fucking computer. I don't know what this woman's saying. <laughs> it does its best. And now I'll go to my. I'll go to my position on the Second Amendment. Yes, I was extremely pro Second Amendment. Yes, you I were. Definitely changed my mind in this. Okay, because the amount of shootings that are happening now. The fact that I had your gun to my head. There was that time too. Whoa. Oh, well, given the fact that I'm with you, I no. can't have them. No. No. Nah. I, I, not a good thing to have a tr to have a gun in the house with me. No, of course <laughs> not. But that had nothing to do with my no. stance. Whoa. Whoa. Rev. It was at this moment that he <laughs> knew he fucked up. I can't believe she would say that. Yo, guys, folks, please. If you ever are having a fight with somebody and, and uh, well, what? Y you know who also put a gun to somebody's head and this ain't like this. I, I saw the picture. Yeah. Uh, the, her good friend, Von Helton. It's so funny that she talks about Von so much and says, Oh, look what you guys are doing to him because they're very similar. And Von did the same thing. He was aiming a gun at his uh, girlfriend. I guess thinking it was cool. It's so funny. It's so funny that they talk about uh, gun room you know, taking a, them away and stuff. But then they're playing the, the same win stupid games, you know, uh, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Don't don't put guns to people's heads. That's on the Second Amendment. No, uh, my, 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 my mind has changed on this because of the amount of mass shootings. People are mentally ill. There's tons of mentally ill people in this country. And in that demographic, the guns need to be- I know, Blondie, right? If not, just completely done away with it. And that's not- Something that we don't talk about. That's <laughs> but there's too many shootings, period. End of story. So yeah, my position has changed on the Second Amendment. We need to do something now. I think so too. I don't think people are responsible enough no. to hold guns anymore. They're not mentally long. They're too they're true trigger happy. They're just waiting for, to pull the trigger on someone. Mm -hmm. And it's gross to have that mentality. Like if you like I, I said this to Jason, if you were a martial artist and, and your master knew you just wanted that just to hurt someone, mm -hmm. they would stop training you immediately. Absolutely. Why don't we do this with those gun toting happy people that just waited to pull the trigger on someone? Like Rev? Yeah. <laughs> Give me an excuse. I'll do it. Not even think twice. That's the type of people they are. They want to hurt someone. They don't deserve to have a weapon if they want to hurt someone. That's very true. God, it's just awful. Are you lying, stupid? <laughs> My God, we're just being honest with ourselves and with others. And they're like, you're lying. I am that I'm lying. You just say I'm lying. Well, it's so dumb. I mean, about what? Like, I'm like what am I lying about? How I feel? And you know what? I, I always thought that it was the, you know, when he put his finger to her head. If the fact that he actually took his real gun and put to Shani's head, that's... Hey, cool, Rev. Get out of this relationship, man. It's too much for you. If you're putting guns to her head. That's really stupid. 
It's nuts. <laughs> the military industrial complex is the ones that benefit from these events. The cops benefit from these events. The medical industry benefits from these events. Do the normal everyday citizens benefit from these events? No, rich white men do. Get off. God. <laughs> and, and, you know, for anybody who's had known anybody who has had dealt with anything like this, I will apologize for shit. I am sorry that you have to hear that. Ugh. <laughs> the, the rich people have to, uh, they, they, they benefit from these events. <laughs> Big Shani, stop! I I can hear your I can hear your what you call it. I can hear your uh your cheeks move when when you get all angry. Fuck <laughs> my channel. It's like she got walnuts in there. Under these laws, would people dealing with mental health problems such as yourself be allowed to have guns? No, no, absolutely. I not. don't believe I should have a weapon. I don't think I should have had them. I don't think they should have allowed me to buy them. Yeah, I know. I know. They don't. They don't realize that. You know. Oh, look! Now he's saying you shouldn't have been allowed to buy them. That they could just be printed. That's a whole other. That's a whole other topic that I don't think she'd even understand. And remember, you know, uh, Renee, it's all about give me money, give me money. But she just said that Red put a gun, like a real gun, to her head. So yeah, he shouldn't have been allowed to buy. I, I agree with him on that uh, statement. No, I don't think they should have. I think that there should have immediately on the background check should have been something to tell them that I had been diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder in 2000. I agree. Nothing. I got it. No problem. I agree. <gasps> People with BPD should not have a weapon like that. Yeah, it's too easy. Definitely. It's too easy to go click. Well, in, in some states, but damn, he, he's got what? Wow. And he didn't just have one gun. He had a lot. And apparently he still has quite a bit. And quite a bit, even at G-Man's house, that he just left there. And then it's over. Man, like I said earlier, I own guns, but clearly something is wrong right now and needs to change. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is. See, that's a common sense person. A lot of people are traumatized. A lot of people are sick, and they need help. Yeah, and the Republican Party is so, absolutely. My husband has not been castrated because he's thinking... No, Independently I, from the Republican Party. Right. I progressed, <laughs> I progressed in my thinking in some of these things because the world has progressed in, in terms of mental illness and, and many other things that, that people are just not with it enough to have them in mass. I'm not saying there isn't so like someone in the chat. It's a gun owner. I said it's okay. That's not entirely accurate. And politicians always say it's all about mental health, but nobody does anything to funnel money into helping. That's not necessarily true. In the state of Pennsylvania, Governor Tom Wolf, when he was front, when he was governor, yeah. he put a ton of money in the mental health industry, and they're still putting a ton of money in the mental health industry in the state of Pennsylvania right now. Yeah. And not only that, but giving classes to uh, our cops to make sure that they can handle people who do have mental health problems. Crisis cops, yeah. Yeah, crisis cops. Which is an awesome thing. Every cop should be like that. They should require that training. Yeah. For every cop. I think so too. And I think it's going there, you know. Yeah, I think it is too. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of people that recognize, even Trump recognizes it's a mental health problem. He does. He does. And now the fucking Republicans are attacking him over it. You're your God. You're attacking your God over this issue. I mean, I'm sure he's going to be totally pro Second Amendment. You chose to take over truth. What truth? <laughs> what are you talking about? You mean you mean the truth Ew. or lies that the Republican Party like to say about election fraud? That truth, or or the truth that the trans people are all going to take over your children and turn them gay? That truth. Okay, I can be a conservative on some of that. I would not have my kid at a drag show. I would not have my kid at a, a story time drag drag show. A, 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 I wouldn't have my kid at a pride parade. No, I wouldn't. I'm conservative on that. Can I bring William to a private? You can do whatever parade? the hell you want. It's your child. Thank it's you. not oh. biologically, dude. So yeah, you can do whatever the hell you want with William. I always wanted to go to do that stuff with him. What? Since when? Since fucking when? Oh, when when you made fun of him for it, or when you outed him? Just like your brother. Get the hell out of here. Why didn't you ever go to a pride parade with your brother? You had time. You, we we know you had time before you was even your son was even alive. You had time to do that. Man, the bullshit. <laughs> It's your child. Of course you can. I'm saying if my biological child. Oh, if his okay, biological. My bio kid. No. But what if they are LGBT? Well, you that's not totally, that from that. That's completely different then. That's completely different. But I'm saying kids. Kids don't mm -hmm. know they're gay yet. 
at, at 8, 10 years old. You don't know that you're gay. And thank you, Tay. No one is forcing you to have your kid at a drag show. Exactly. Yeah, I don't care. I'm telling you I can be conservative Jason. on this. Okay. If you want me to be a little conservative, I will be. Okay. Well, I don't agree with you, you on that. Well, I'm saying they can have their pride parade. I'm not saying don't have okay. pride parade. Okay. <laughs> okay. I ain't taking my kid to it, though. Oh, Jason, you always come out. No matter how much Shani wants to put you in a box and hide you, you'll always come out. And I love that. I love that. I came clean. It's more like my doctor telling me, stupid. Man, today's a rough one. Isn't God, they're dumb. <laughs> today's a rough one. <laughs> Damn, there's war in the air today. <laughs> today's a rough one. <laughs> get a uh, 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 get a life. Get a life. Stop obsessing over me, psycho. Get a life. Yeah, get a life. Go do something with your life instead of bothering me. What you think you agree with or don't agree with about my life? Because I didn't ask for your fucking opinion. Oh, I will. Today, I will. <laughs> Did I? It's not about you or your feelings. Is Jason an ally? Yes, he is. Kinda. Mo for the most part, now. Yes, he is kind of. I think they should. Look, I, they, I, let me clarify something. If you guys thought that I was saying they shouldn't be able to have pride parades or have this drag <laughs> nightmare, that isn't what I mean. You have the right to assemble as an American. You can do these things. I <laughs> take my kid to it. Pretty. I think the block has. Given I love how Rev steps in shit, and then like he tries to wipe it off, but him. The way he wipes it off is just by stepping in it over and over again. It's like you should just stop with that. Count that thought and move on. Answered your question. <laughs> you just can't answer it right. I want nothing I to do with the psycho, so don't bring her here to, for me to talk about. No, I don't. I don't believe drag shows are sexual in nature. Some are. Some are not. It's no different. Like I try. I, I, like this is this is another thing I try to explain. It's like, did any of your Republicans when you were kids watch Mrs. Doubtfire? Most of them will be like, yeah, I love that movie. Most of the Republicans will be like, yeah, I love Mrs. Doubtfire. Really? Did it damage you as a child? No. Then why are drags being damaged at a ch damaging children, but Mrs. Doubtfire didn't damage you? Give me a break. I know, right? And that, that, she could do everything and nothing at Give the same time. Give me a break. You want to complain about drags, but yet you talk about how great Mrs. Doubtfire is. Do you not think about that? I yeah. love drag shows too, man. Yeah, or on the literacy bit. rates. I would think so, too. Men being too insecure is the problem. That may be it. I'm trying to get through all this one today. It's pretty long. That may be it. I mean, maybe these guys have, like, gay tendencies, and they think if they look at a drag, they'll get attractive, and maybe they'll think they're gay or something. I don't know. But, like, what I've noticed is women have no problem with drag. It's the men okay. that have problems with drag. Well, what about that's, that's what I've been. What What about Rev? Right? What about uh, What about Revelina? Revelina's uh, <laughs> don't got no problem with that. T rights, trans rights, exactly. Like all these Republicans want to talk about freedom and living in a free country, but they won't let others be free to who they want to be. They want people to be free on their standards, and that's not how freedom works. That's not how freedom works. If you're living in a free country, you can choose the way how you want to express yourself. Even if you want to dress up as a dame and go on stage and sing a song. Sing a song. You see why I'm angry at the world? I'm angry at the world because I see way too much injustice and not enough justice. Like that 86 year old man that shot that poor little boy, he should be in prison. Man, back back to this again. I don't even know what she's talking about. Manslaughter over his head. I I don't you know like I, I don't I have this is the first time I'm hearing about this so so I really can't have an opinion about it. But if it's coming from Shani, I'm sure she's using it as a shield for her own criticisms. That 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 damn. <laughs> Laptop fan is annoying me though. <laughs> oh, you, you me modding you? Here, girl. Just because you get hate like I do. Have at it with the monsters. 
I agree with that, Stinky Pete. I think most people have a mindset to each their own. It's when you start trying to force your beliefs on others, that's it's the problem. Yeah. Aw, that's so sweet. I'd love to go to the Halloween parade in NYC. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. That parade is crazy. I've been there. And they have, like, on one of the floats, usually a couple of, like, a real band with a couple of locals. You're like, whoa, that's a real band going down that float. But so many people. So if you don't like people, you don't like being around people where you can't move for, like, 40 minutes, I don't suggest going there. Because it's almost like, you know, doing the uh, Thanksgiving parade. You know, it's, like, that many people. And what's worse is they're all dressed up. So you don't even know, <laughs> you know, you don't know if someone's trying to rob you and stuff because you're, you're really like in there like a sardine, but fun. It was fun. And it was, it was, uh, it was like an outside concert. Amen, girl. <laughs> we could protect each other from RZ and Miss Parker and those folks. Oh my God. You know about Miss Parker too. I, could, I I'm not even going in that. And <laughs> Shaney, every time she, Rev uh, runs the bath for her. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Nick? Listen to this. We just had a guy just north of me in Washington County, New York, shoot a young girl because her and her friends were looking for a friend's house, pulled in the wrong driveway, and homeboy blew her away. No, see, that's what I'm talking about. This stuff has gotten so crazy now, that's why we have to do something. It's gotten way too crazy. You don't brandish your weapon when they're outside of your house! No. Holy crap! That's true, Ivy. A lot of people do think that LGBT people existing out in the open is forcing their beliefs on others, and it's not. No, that's insane to say. How are those people not charged? I don't know. Probably because of the color of their skin. They're white. Like, what was that county that we were listening to? Was it like in Oklahoma? About those uh, lawmakers and the sheriff getting to together and trying to like... Yeah. Oklahoma, yeah, you're right. Yeah, trying to plan that, uh, uh, the, murder. the murder of a reporter. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Because they got on them to realize that they were doing bad stuff. Yeah, that's insane. I know, right? I, here. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Just so you know, I'm not bullshitting. It was I, I saw it on Rachel Maddow over this. And it was just, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? You, you, like, seriously, you don't want to go in my history. Um, there it is. Last one. This is insane. That lawmakers are trying to plan a, a journalist's death and and the the mayor of the town has told the sheriff and those lawmakers to resign. The governor of the state told them to resign. Yep. Uh, I think a couple senators are saying it. But check this out. That's Rachel Maddow. Yeah, and, and we can't even really talk about it too much here because it's so horrible. But let's just say that they were saying... Love you, Nightmare. Because <laughs> they don't want to get in trouble. Have more rights than us because we can't go and... It, the L-Y-N-C-H yeah. word. Yeah. They literally were talking about doing that. And saying we don't have enough rights because we don't we have rights because we can't attack black people anymore. That's insane. It literally is on there. Insane. They got, he, like this reporter, he, he put a voice activated recorder in the room because a bunch of people thought that the proceedings didn't end. So we got lawmakers in Oklahoma wishing they could go back to. I can't even say the word. Too bad we're not back in that day where we could beat a black person up and throw them in jail and throw the key away. I don't even know what she's talking about. It is bad. You, you listen to what these lawmakers and the sheriff are saying about this reporter? That duck noise. Yep, America is in great shape. Oh, God. Yeah, sure, with corruption. Like, there's Someone that voice clip done. that. <laughs> this is why I'm so angry. This is really why I'm so angry at the world. It's like everyone wants to hurt people. Can we just for once start building each other up like we used to?
Right. I remember a day in America. I remember in America where we used to build each other up, not tear each other down. I remember that America. What happened to it? The '90s was great. <laughs> the '80s and '90s, it was great. Oh, right, here she goes now. Back to it, it, it was. Crap, where they just want to go back to old ways, just because they feel like going back to old ways. And we had cool music. We'd have flying cars run on solar power if we all just got along. That's true. Probably would have already gone to Mars by now, having settlements <laughs> if we got along. We probably, the aliens would have would have talked to us. The aliens. We'd be friends with aliens if we just learned how to get along. Yeah, she'd be having an alien giving her money if we could just get along. <laughs> She's insane. You look into that alien stuff. The people who are associated with the aliens, they say the aliens, they aren't going to come to Earth and announce themselves because of our violent, hateful ways. And I'm mad at that, too. Yeah, like child abuse. Oh, well. Jesus did say at the end of days, the lack of the love of many shall wax cold. It did say the birth pains would come quicker and quicker and worser and worser. Prophecy fulfilled. This is yeah. why we can't have nice things or alien friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why you got to give her money, Revolver Bernie. Uh -huh. They're birds. <laughs> People eat them. I, I, I wouldn't eat a quail. I ate one once and I didn't like it. I don't All know. Right. I'm more into cats than birds. I, I could even say I'm more into lizards than birds. Even though. Yeah. I like the speech patterns of, of birds. I think that's really cool. All right, no more. <laughs> I remember 89 pretty good. Heck, I remember 87. Really? I don't. 89 was, or 89 was a good year because my mom was pregnant with my brother and it was the first time I ever saw a woman pregnant. <laughs> God, I remember the 90s and I grew up then. I remember the 90s very well. Of course, I was a teenager for a lot of it. <laughs> As opposed to what? Anyway, guys. The day, after the day I've had today, I give up and I'm now in bed listening. I feel you there, Tracy. I'll <laughs> be with you today. Thank you, Super Inhuman. Mashallah. Uh, but I'm going to take off. I've been talking for two hours straight. I want to be cuddled. Yeah. I hurt. Do I feel better now, by the way? I feel drained. I did get that, like, argh, the angst out of me, though, so I kind of feel better with that. I don't even understand what the angst came from in the first place. You know, like I've been saying, she's going to have to go. And if, if her channel here gets reported, and yes, she is technically banned evading. She was banned uh, more than once. And to have a channel that's monetized, yeah, that's uh, upsetting a lot of people. So, I mean, I could foresee that it's probably not going to be around forever. And I guess they can't beg as hard as they, you know, do here on Rumble. That's why she hasn't been on a Rumble forever. So, I don't know. Her putting all her eggs in one basket... Well, she desperately needs this basket to keep to stay together. It's just like I said, it's just a ways I would not want to live. You know, she could try to find alternate ways. She could try to, you know, like go down to the, uh, go down to the town hall and ask for help because you know, that uncle does not want her there. But you know what? I guess we'll find out in the coming weeks or month or maybe a month to next month. If she tries to claim squatters rights. Which I think she's going to definitely try. All right, guys, I'm I'm taking off. I'm probably gonna go to sleep. I know it's seven thirty, but I really don't care. I had a very stressful. <laughs> what a day. life. And um, yeah. I wish I had some donations today, but whatever. It is what it is. God's will. 
Pizza God. marinara, guys. Pizza marinara. I, I really do. And I'm sorry I get moody sometimes. <laughs> moody. She means oh, slappy. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, I love you. It's like when she's taking a crap. Oh. <laughs> and on that note, folks, and on that note, thank you for hanging out. Um, well, I'll be out. So, you know, going out, doing what she said we should all do. Go out and get a life and have fun. Oh, well, we will be, be doing that. And I'm looking forward to that. But that's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, be kind to each other. You know, um, don't be like that, <laughs> of course. And just uh, that's it. I'll see you on the, the next one. Have a good night and or have a good evening. And I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.